Boy is born without immunity. His mom put him in a bubble to protect him from the air. Jack was born with no immunity. A single germ could kill him. Until the age of four, he was confined to a Cerro hospital room. At age four, he was picked up to home by his family. The short distance from the yard to the house already makes his parents nervous. They set up a sterile bubble room for Jack with his parents by his side. Jack's childhood was never boring. Mom would pet him through his gloves and read him bedtime stories. She made him cookies and watched movies with him. They were naughty kids who teased him, but his mom would chase them away. Jack grew up happily with his family by his side. When he was 16, he saw a girl, Mary, to see her more. He would sneak glances at her while cleaning the windows. Mary also had a crush on the boy who lived in the bubble. She came to visit. When she saw that he played the guitar, Mary said she wanted to learn. Then they agreed to meet tomorrow. The next day, they got along very well. For the rest of the day, Mary came over every day to keep him company and gave him a hamster. This made Jack feel happier than he had ever felt before. One day it was Mary's birthday, Jack didn't go to her party. She wanted him to give her a kiss as a gift. Although Jack wanted to do it, he was scared. He refused Mary's request. When they next met, Mary showed up with her boyfriend. Jack was saddened to see them being so sweet in front of him. Shortly after the boyfriend proposed to Mary, she said yes and told Jack the news. Jack felt so bad that he could only live in the bubble for the rest of his life. He couldn't give happiness to the girl he loved. He acted very cold and returned the hamster to her. Mary put down a box and left in disappointment. When Jack opened the box, he saw the I love you she left behind and he regretted it. He decided to pursue his own happiness and express his love to her. Jack put on his bubble suit and ran away from home before his parents woke up. But he had no money and couldn't afford a bus ticket. When he tried to walk there by himself, he was hit by a bus. Luckily he was protected by the bubbles so he didn't get hurt. The bus was filled with a a group of cultists who offered Jack a ride, but he soon realized something was wrong and spoke his mind straight away. And he gets thrown out into the desert. On the way, he meets a cool motorcycle man. The man took him to a bustling city to see an exciting concert. He even went to a casino to experience gambling. But Jack had to find Mary. He couldn't waste any more time. He had his eye on a scooter, which he won with a coin from the casino. He met his parents on the road looking for him, but was accidentally hit by a truck. He's bounced into a train that has a circus on it. The people here are all very strange looking. The circus chief saw that he was strange too and wanted to keep him around. Jack refused him. He's in a hurry to stop the wedding and accidentally knocks the chief to the ground. Jack came to a small town and saw a group of people bullying an Indian man. Jack was so angry that he stopped them, but he was attacked by others. They asked him why he's wearing a bubble suit. He explained that he was sick and couldn't be exposed to germs, so he isolated himself in a bubble suit. Everyone thought he had a contagious disease and they all freaked out. They all fled out. In a panic, an oil lamp was broken and burst into flames. The Indians came to Jack's rescue and promised to take him there. Tired, Jack fell asleep in the car. He dreamed that Mary was in danger, but he can't save her. He can only watch her being rescued by her boyfriend and being taunted by him. Jack wakes up from his dream and scares the Indian driving the car. He accidentally ran over a cow. Cows are sacred in India. The Indians wanted to pray for him, so Jack had to go on his own. After a long journey, he finally arrived at Mary's wedding. The moment he saw her, Jack made a decision. He tore off his bubble suit. He'd rather spend a minute hugging her than live in regret for the rest of his life. After the kiss, Jack passed out. His parents arrived too. Also arriving at the scene were a group of people he had met on the road. Just when people thought Jack was about to die, Dad asked Mom to tell Jack the truth. Mom said he wasn't going to die. When he heard that, Jack immediately opened his eyes. He's been immune since he was four years old. But Mom didn't want the outside world to contaminate him, so she lied to him. Then Jack hugged his mom. He understood his mom's feelings and forgave her. Then he expressed his love to Mary and they got married. This is the end of the movie. Thank you for watching. The movie is called Bubble Boy. We'll see you next time.